Well, welcome to another edition of the Don't Argue All. Thanks to our friendly sponsors at Palmer Bet and Gids. As I say, a very good evening to you, mate. Uh, what a cracking round two action it was. But before we get to that, I want to give your wife, Brooke, a special mention because she's doing something unbelievable at the moment. This is huge, Gids. Yeah, it is, Barry. Thanks, mate. Uh, yeah, and a big shout out to my wife, plus 20 other women representing the Mark Hughes Foundation and Brain Cancer Research and uh, raising money for brain cancer uh, funding, mate, and brain cancer nurses. So there's 20 girls um, over in Papua New Guinea at the moment, and they've just uh, set up, just got a text, uh, a photo sent through of um, their first camp set up. So a huge effort, mate, of the girls really stepping outside of their comfort zone too really? and challenging themselves personally, and, and uh, we all uh, respect that and encourage them. Uh, they've raised $350,000, mate, in preparation nice. for this trek and are still that raising is- money, so amazing Phenomenal. effort. That is unbelievable, mate. 350000 Not an easy thing to do. Not an easy track to walk either as well. Uh, ah. you know, great effort. Great effort, mate. Millie Boyle is uh, is on that one too. Uh, great yep. NRLW player, Millie, and, and very high profile. So, yeah, the girls are doing a great effort, mate. They're, they're just, just starting the challenge today. They've done their first big day, and, mate, that's all ahead of them. The, the, the sleeping and camping and lack of bathrooms and that type of thing, that might be a, a part of the challenge as well as, the, the obviously, the, the toughness of the trek. Yeah, mate, uh, your wife's got a challenge, but you've got the challenge because you've got the three girls at home, Gits. So uh, your next 10 days uh, might be hell, mate. We've got the dog wandering might around. Might be a bigger challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, mate, you've got something. three girls, year six, year four, kindergarten. So I've got my own challenge ahead of me. Hey, uh, Gids, let's get back to the NRL, mate. Cracking round. Uh, we'll start off with the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, and uh, I must admit, Saturday night, uh, Warrior Storm, Xavier Coates, Superman-like uh, performance. Is it the greatest ever mm. try you've seen to win a game, uh, Gids? You know, like the, the, the athletes these days, they're so uh, unbelievable, aren't they? Oh, mate, it was an unbelievable try. I think it's got to be up there. I mean, I'd like probably someone to put together the, the top five and then just work out which one is is the number one that takes the crown. But I think, it, mate, yeah. it was an amazing effort. Given they scored two tries in the last five minutes and this is to win the game. And then for him, the athleticism of him, mate, to, to dive from, you know, I think it was roughly five metres out from the try line. And then still to be able to hold the ball. I, I, I wasn't one to be able to hold the ball in one hand. Uh, to be able to athletically dive, get bumped, still hold in one hand and get it in that little right angle of, a, of the, the try line, it was a phenomenal effort and I don't think we'll see you on that little top it. Mate, I'm cracking up at your dog just wandering up those steps yeah. in the background. What a legend. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is the kids. The kids Their little partner of it, Shirley. <laughs> um, yeah, unbelievable for mine, Xavier Cates. So he's an absolute star uh, and a great game. Uh, the bad, uh, well, the bunnies, uh, their horror start to the season. There was a lot of talk about it, I suppose, in the lead up before that first game in Vegas. There was you know, a few things happening behind the scenes and uh, it hasn't got much mm. better, has it, as the season started. And, you know, everything that's going on with the trail at the moment. And, uh, you know, there's a fair bit going on, isn't there? There's a bit of pressure on the bunnies. For sure, mate. Buddy, I think I did uh, mention it, mate, in our first uh, little catch-up, mate, for 2024, that if they have some off-field headlines, then that'll have an influence on the playing group and their performance. So, and here we are, we're, we're two rounds in, they're none from two, and all, all of a sudden there's, I think, I, you know, I listen to a bit of sporting radio in the mornings, early morning, and... Mate, there was they were just getting hammered from talk back yeah. uh, fans, you know, professional journalists who spend their time studying the NRL, and they were getting smashed. And we're two games in. I mean, yeah, I thought Latrell's interview after the game was poor. You know, I I get that. Uh, you know, various players over the years have slipped up and a, and a swear word directly after the game and in the moment and emotional, but it wasn't just one swear word. It was numerous swear words and deliberate yeah. swearing yeah. and I thought it was average I, he knows well enough he's been in the game long enough yeah. um, you know to conduct himself in a better way and then you know and then for him to mention that it was his 100th try I just think he's missed the mark missed the off mark the back there. of a loss yeah, yeah off yeah. the back of a loss and then talk about his 100th try in the game and then swearing I mean I, I thought it was pretty ordinary from the NRL there's no accountability held and he gets off scot-free I mean 
Mm. I think if it was other players who have got previous history in in um, you know bringing the game into disrepute, uh, they they'd be held more accountable. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Anyway, mate. that was that was the bad, the ugly, yeah. mate. The ugly. Uh, and, uh, well, a week's a long time in rugby league. We know that, kids, but uh, for the Dragons, uh, great start to the season. Uh, and then, you know, they get absolutely trounced, 38-zip uh, to the Dolphins. Yeah. Um, you know, you must be just this. As a supporter, you'd have to be scratching your head going, what the hell has happened in the space of six or seven days? Yeah, yeah, for sure, Manny. Well, mate, I, I, to be honest, I that was late Sunday afternoon, and I did put that game on in between sort of getting the kids' bath and that sort of thing. And I flashed to the screen and I just I, – I didn't put two and two together because the Dragons had went well the previous week. I thought it was the Dragons leading at halftime. Yeah. And it wasn't until halfway through the second half I had to blink again and think, hey, I know that's the Dolphins. They get smashing them here. Yeah. And, you know, I think they'd be well, – mate, Flano would be filthy on the turnaround defensively um, for – well, I think it was 38-0. Um, there's a bit of soul searching there to be done in preparation for this week. Yeah, absolutely, there is, mate. Hey, let's have a look back at our tips from last weekend, kids. Uh, you went uh, one, two, three, four, five, six out of eight, which is a uh, a big pass mark for mine, Not bad. especially early on in the season. We know how tough it is early. You know, sides are kind of just uh, sizing each other up. So you missed the Knights. Very stiff, kids. Yeah. And I didn't want to mention I was going to be part of the good, the bad, nah. and the ugly. Um, un unbelievable game of rugby, that, wasn't it? Yeah, it made great game. I thought the Cowboys were poor. They made a stack of errors in the yep. first half, and I thought the, the Knights certainly improved their footy from the from the week before against the the Raiders. But yeah, I thought the Knights done enough to to get the game done. But you got to win the game, and extra time is part of that. Yeah, and it sets up an, an intriguing point. yeah, what's well, an intriguing uh, round this weekend because the Knights can't afford to go Norton three. You know, so uh, we're going to get to that a little bit later on, kids. It's a big but one. Mate, let's get to let's get to your tips, mate, from last mate. week. Seven from eight. Seven from eight, and I missed the Roosters. And and talking about, mm. I, I, I thought they were pretty average. They could have got belted, to be honest, uh, on the weekend. I, I mainly were brilliant. Um, yeah, you know, Turbo is obviously the key. What's the the big fella, mate, with the tattoos on the legs and that? He, Olakawatu. Oh, mate, he is an absolute animal. Oh, He's a yeah. machine. Mate, he's a machine. He's big. He's athletic. He's aggressive. You know, with the ball, yeah, um, he can put a shot on you. Know, I like his low defending. He's a good low tackler. He bends yeah. his back, but they can't um, so, stop him, yeah. can they? When he gets a nah. run up and that, he's uh, he, he's a beast, beast mode. No, nah, they like, utilize yeah. him well. I, I'm loving what Manly's putting out. You're all over Manly early on to start this year, kids, um, and I'm loving what they're doing because uh, the Roosters are not a bad outfit, but they. I don't know. They just they just seem to toss it around a bit too much for mine. They they just need to play a little bit more smarter footy, um, you know. And they, they just kind of I think, yeah made a few you know, errors, made did. a few errors, mate, coming out of yardage and thought Manly's game plan. Manly shifted uh, first set of the game, made a clean break first set left yeah, edge. Yeah, um, I and thought normally, they were impressive in there. They look fit. Ro Roosters defensive uh, has been probably their, their Achilles heel, hasn't it? You know, and, and they did well. Like, honestly, I thought they could have lost that game by twenty if you sit there and actually watch it because uh, there's a couple of times yeah. not allowed and stuff like that. But anyway, they were the ones that I missed. The kids best bets last week: Sharks thirteen plus, mate. You nailed that. Uh, you just needed uh, mm -hmm. Jesse Roman anytime try scorer, so that was at a nice little price too. Yeah, it was a nice price, but one from two won't do it, mate. No, what about no. yours, mate? Maddie's best bet. Mate, we had the Roosters 13 plus. They're the only thing that let me down. Tupu anytime try score. Tedesco anytime try score. He's a star, Tedesco. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I thought, here we go. We're going to just uh, pin the ears back here. I was like, hoping that the Roosters might overrun them in the second half, but it wasn't to be. So we're not too far away, mate. We're around the mark. Not too far, which is mate. Good for the Palmer Bet followers. Um, that are following us each and every week. Um, that is for sure. I've just lost a bit of light. The power's gone off. I don't know. Kids, probably oh, not. Totally. Oh, she's back on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be worried there. Let's just flicked into the... um, nightclub mode, mate. <laughs> I think the old uh, generator kicked in. Hey, uh, <laughs> let's have a look at this weekend's round of matches. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a belter. It all starts Thursday night. And this is the grand final teams going at it again. Who can forget that grand final last year? The Broncos, they're going to have nightmares uh, heading into this game, I would imagine. But uh, it is Panthers and the Bronx. 8 p.m. at Panthers Stadium. Head-to-head, -head, the Panthers at $1.27. Broncos at three eighty. Panthers at the line, minus 10 and a half at $1.98. Broncos plus 10 and a half at $1.83. Key talking points here for the Panthers. Uh, got back to form with a good win against the Spirited Eagles team last week. 
and they'll be looking to keep it uh, going against the Broncos. Uh, they've won six of their last seven against the Bronx. Will it be mm. a recurring nightmare for the Broncos? Uh, looking to get a little bit of revenge from the 2023 grand final loss. Um, potential loss of Adam Reynolds. He's such a key playmaker in that Bronco, Broncos outfit. And it's been a while. The Broncos have won only one game at Panther Stadium in the last 15 years. Yeah, wow. I couldn't believe that stat. Yeah. That is amazing. One in the last 15 years. But, like, we spoke about this last week with the Knights going up to uh, to North Queensland and they nearly got the job done. So yep. records are there to be broken. Uh, can the Broncos do it against the Panthers, hitting a, a bit of form again? Well, you, mate, you think they'll be right up for the game, Matty. The Broncos after the grand final last year and looking for a point to prove here. Come off the back of a, a good win last week. Jeez, I, I think ten and a half starts looking pretty juicy for the Broncos. I Don't mean, agree more. I guess the I guess the Palmer Bet boys have factored in. They've only won once at Panther Stadium in the last yep. fifteen years. But geez, that's a hell of a start. Ten and a half for a dollar eighty three at this stage. But I still still think head to head, mate. Panthers at home. Uh, we'll get the job done again against the Broncos. So make it 16 years. I'm sticking fat with the Bronx, mate. And I'll tell you why, Gids. Yeah. Uh, the, the Eels, it's only an eight-point win or an eight-point loss. Uh, the, Pan- the Panthers won by eight last week. I, I just reckon that the Broncos are going better than, than the Eels, you know, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. I, I, mate, I, I, I'm just looking at the team list, Matty, here. Adam Reynolds is, hasn't been named. Yeah, see, he's a big ear. He's Jock Madden. Mess- Could so, sway you. Is he going to sway you? No, nah, no, nah, I'm sticking with the Bronx, mate. No, nah, sticking, okay. Yeah, I'm going to stick fat. I just, I just reckon. I don't think the Panthers are that wound up yet. There you go. That's yeah. my, yeah. that's my take. So, um, and don't worry. I think the Broncos are probably a little bit the same, but uh, I'm just going to stick with the Broncos, and I reckon they are good value at three dollars eighty. Um, so yeah. yeah, I'm happy to play around that, and uh, I'm gonna. It's going to add a bit of value to my, uh, my pick eight at the uh, pick the round, yep. Too. Right, let's turn our attention. Warriors Raiders, Friday night, 6 p.m. Apollo Project Stadium in Christchurch. Uh, of mm-hmm. course, uh, Warriors uh, haven't won a game so far this year, which is surprising. They lost round one at home, lost narrowly to the storm in a thriller last week. The Raiders are two and zip, kids. All right. Warriors yeah. at $1.44. Raiders at $2.80. At the line, the Warriors minus $7.50.90. Raiders plus $7.50.89. Uh, Warriors obviously coming off that really heartbreaking loss last week. The Raiders had a perfect start to their season. Ricky Stewart's up and about, but they are going to be without said Chris, who failed the HIA. Okay. And uh, he doesn't score. Warriors bring a winger. Dallin Watini Zelniak has scored 24 yep. tries in his last 18 NRL games, including a double last week. So he is an absolute scoring machine. Gids, are you with the home team here or are you thinking that the Warriors might cause a little bit yeah, of no, I th- No, I think the Warriors, mate, even though they're 0 and 2 to start the year, look, they, they should have won last week. And when you say should have, you know, they didn't. Um, yeah. that's, the, that's, the, that's the reality. But they were leading up until the, what, the, the 78th minute. So, you know, yeah. they'll be filthy. They let in those last couple of tries for the Storm to snatch that game from them. I still think they'll take some real positives out of the way they played against the Melbourne Storm. And I think it's a huge crowd expected, if not sold out, at Christchurch for for the Warriors. So they've still got plenty of support. I think there's there's still plenty of belief there. Um, they just got to play it for eighty minutes, mate. Make sure they it's a stick massive to their game. process. Yeah, yeah ma- huge, massive huge game, game. For the Warriors. Yeah, yeah. I thought they were a little bit underwhelming round one, but I did think the Sharks played pretty tough in that game for them to be done over there. I think they'll turn it around this week, mate, and have their. First win, mate. I'm happy with the Warriors minus seven and a half, dollar ninety. Yeah, I'm sticking with the Warriors too, mate. I reckon it's just a must win to get their season up and going. Hey, uh, this is going to be match of the round. Roosters, Rabbitohs, Friday, 8 p.m. Allianz Stadium, head to head. Roosters, a dollar sixty four. Rabbitohs, two twenty six at the line. The Roosters minus two and a half, dollar ninety. Rabbitohs plus two and a half, dollar ninety. So much at stake here for both these teams. Norton three mm-hmm. for the Rabbitohs. And uh, if uh, if the Roosters lose, they'll go to one and two. So uh, you know, there's a fair bit at stake yep. here. Um, the Roosters, compared by the absence of Luke Keary, who is out, but they'll be pumped back up. And this is huge. Jared Wawera Hargraves will play his 300th NRL yeah, game. Huge, huge effort. game. Uh, Rabbitohs Norton, too. We've spoken about it, but Jack White and could be the spark that they need at uh, the Rabbitohs. And not the start you want going back to last year. The Bunnies have won only four of their last 15 games. So that form is atrocious. Those four wins were against the Dragons, Tigers, Warriors, and Titans. Kids. Yeah, so wow. They have wow. not really smacked the team at all in the last kind of 
12 months. That's a, that's a huge statistic, that. Four games out of their last 15 and the last four wins at Dragons, Tigers, Warriors. Warriors was tough at the time. And Titans. Yeah. Amazing. I reckon they, they've, got a, they've got a heap of pressure on them mate, at the moment, Matty, I think, especially yeah. with the headlines and the off-field stuff, the commentary and all journalism yeah. and, you know, players being buying into those press conferences as well. So, and, mate, they've, they've dropped their halfback. For this game, so Lockley Lewis has been has been dropped. Well, what you do you know, think after of two that games, kids? young half? What do you think? Oh, of I that? think it's pretty. I think it's average. I mean, but if you're not performing, then you can't hold your position in the team. So, uh, look, is he is, the is problem? Is he the to... scapegoat? Is he again, mate? Everyone's held accountable to their position in the team, and if he's not playing to the standard or the structure that they've been practicing all off season, then. He's there to be replaced, but he's been the only guy dropped out of the team too. So it's yeah. pr- pretty harsh. It is, and harsh, it's been mate. two games in. I mean, mate, I know how much preparation goes into the pr- into the preseason. Like you've been training together since November. Um, all your all your set plays, all your attacking plays are based around your starting halves. Yeah, and after two games, you punt, you punt, your starting half, and you you're in with a replacement. It's a big call. Um, I don't think it'll pay off this week for him. I think the Roosters, I think Jared were a Hargraves 300th game. I think a lot of, will go into that. A lot of emotion will go into that for his teammates to get up for this game. Right. He'll be right up for it, no doubt. Um, Luke Keary out for the game. But I think the Roosters get this one done. Yeah, Roosters for mine too, mate. Uh, they'll bounce back on the winner's list. And the uh, the blow torch is going to be well and truly on the Rabbitohs uh, come uh, next week, I reckon. Uh, let's move along to the next game. Bulldogs taking on the Titans. Saturday, 3 p.m. at Belmore Sports Ground. Head-to-head, Bulldogs, $1.82. Titans at $1.98 at the line. The Bulldogs, minus one and a half at $1.90. Titans, plus one and a half at $1.90. Tight line, tight betting affair here. Key talking points, all thanks to Palmer Bet. Uh, it's a huge game for the Dogs, looking to win their first game since round 22 last year. For the Titans, they're coming off a bye and uh, now bad look uh, and, and a bad loss to the Dragons, of course, in that round one. So uh, they're going to be a little bit fresh. Unhappy at home. The Bulldogs are just two wins from 11 at the traditional home ground at Belmore Sports Ground. So they don't play that well there. Two from 11, kids. Um, mm. That's not a real good stat. Um, this is a toss of the coin game for mine. Yeah, uh, toss of the you, coin. What are you thinking? Mate, I thought the Titans got off to a disappointing start. Obviously, the de- new Des era coming into to the Titans and the helm there and getting done by the Dragons. I thought, yeah, that game is an upset um, yep. as far as where the Dragons were looking for the start of the year. So, yeah, a week off for the Titans, a little bit of time to regroup. Look, mate, I think whoever defends well wins the game. I think both these teams have been um, – you know, average as far as their defensive record. And I mean, yeah. as far as av- average points scored against per week, I think whoever defends well wins the game. But I think it's all around, um, you know, attacking structures, who puts on the best plays. Yeah. If you complete high, defend well, um, I think so you win the game. The but I'm, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with the Titans. I'm going to go with the Titans, mate, for this one. I'm going with the I Titans think, too, um, kids. Yep. I think they'll do enough. And I think they'll defend well. Um, interesting to see the outcome for this one. Hey, look out, look out. You could be in trouble here, mate. A little bit of dad duty. <laughs> Just... <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Get her on the podcast, mate. She probably knows more than us <laughs> to put together, I'd say. Yeah. Hey, let's move along to the next game. Dragons taking on the Cowboys Saturday, 5.30 p.m. at Nestrata. Jubilee Stadium, head-to-head Dragons, 280. Cowboys, $1.40 at the line. Dragons, plus $7.50. $1.90. Cowboys, minus $7.50. at ninety. Obviously, the Dragons, disastrous last week. Uh, they need to come back and they need to come back in a big way, bounce back in a big way, don't they? Uh, Cowboys, they were lucky to get away with it against your mob last week. Um, they yep. have beaten the Dragons the last four times. Um, so that's a good little bit of confidence for them. And no love for Kagara. The Cowboys have won just three games at the Dragons' home ground in their last 11 visits. I don't know. What are you thinking here, mate? The Cowboys were good round one. I thought they were average last week with a lot of errors, as you touched on. Um, yep. You know, are they too short at a dollar forty gigs? Oh, I think they are, mate. They were, they were poor last week. I'm just trying to have a look at what their what their completion rates were um, last week. While we have a quick look here, but yeah, I thought they made a stack of errors against the Knights last week. They had a couple of good periods in the second half where they picked up a couple of tries, and obviously they they played well in those last couple of sets in in Golden Point to get the win, which is a, a huge win for them. 
uh, at home against the Knights. I think they've got still a bit of work to do. Todd Payton, to be pretty honest with their video session, with some improvements they need to make. And obviously, you make the Dragons, they need some major improvements on the way they defended against the Dolphins. Maybe they went into that game complacent. Oh, no, mate. That's a, it's always a risk for coaches around, you know, when teams uh, – you know, have a great win, obviously, but the tight the the Dragons got off to a really good win to start the year, yeah. and then maybe they went went into that game a little bit complacent against the Dolphins, who got pumped the first week. So, um, yeah, time to review their video session. And but an interesting matchup here. I still think the Cowboys have got a good enough team to to get to get the Dragons on this one. Yeah, I'm sticking with the Cowboys too, but I think it's going to be a lot closer, and the line might be the way to go. Uh, betting wise, yeah, all, thanks. Tra- to the I feel like the Dragons like to play it. Um, at Congo or, or Net Strata Jubilee too. I think that's a, yep. a favourite ground for them. So, oh, I don't know, tough one to pick. I'm still going to go with the, the Cowboys though, mate. Yep, right. Oh, Tiger Sharks, Saturday, 7.35pm at Leichhardt. Oh, we'll head-to-head Tigers, 3.80. Sharks, $1.24 at the line. Tigers, plus $11.50. $11. Sharks, minus $11.50. $1.90. Uh, key talking points here for the Tigers. The Benji era started with a disappointing loss on the road, but head back to Leichhardt to kick start their season for the Sharks. Off to a flyer, back-to-back wins. Uh, who will look to go? And they'll look to keep this going, of course. Nico Hines, uh, he's been my man. Uh, he's an absolute superstar for mine. Positive sign for the home team. The Sharks have not won at Leichhardt Oval since 2014. So there's a little bit of, I suppose, confidence the Tigers could take into yeah, this okay. one. What are you thinking, mate? Well, mate, it is a bit of a spiritual home uh, that Leichhardt is for the Tigers. I think, you know, they... they they generate a bit more interest from local fans and the community around that area. It's a it's a it's a favourite ground for the Tigers and goes back, you know, and there's some plenty of good moments in history for the club. Oh, I still I still think mate they've got plenty of work to do. Obviously, um, beaten last week pretty convincingly. Um, bit of an unknown Benji era with um, obviously Johnny Morris there and hey, Chris Hyington to give him a hand, but I still think they've got a bit of work to do. And, and the Sharks were were. Um, you know, they were impressive round one. Uh, who did they have again last week, man, off the top of my head? Uh, last week, man, 79. Think. It was a good game too. Uh, absolute ripping game. Uh, the Sharky. Sorry, mate. No, nah, they beat, yeah, beat the Dogs. Beat the Dogs last week. So, and yeah, done, off done to a pretty decent start of the year. Yeah, yeah done, did it comfortably done, last week. So, mate, it's 2-0 at this stage. Yep, they'll take plenty of confidence from those couple of games, especially defensively, you know, only – Six points against uh, the Dogs last week in that game over in New Zealand against the yep. Warriors. They defended really well, really strong, tough, and, and the resilient. Warriors, the Warriors kind of franked that form, I suppose, with a, a good showing against the Storm last week. So, you know, I just, I must admit, kids, I actually reckon the Sharks are an absolute uh, model here. In, uh, yeah, like, I'm going to go 13 plus, mate. Sharks 13 plus against the Tigers here. That's Maddie's must have later on, mate. I'm going. Oh, okay. Plus, Keep absolutely. it on the court. Keep it on the court, mate. Right. Uh, Parramatta Eels take on the Manly Seagulls Sunday, 405 Combank Stadium, head to head. Eels $1.85. Manly at $1.95 at the line. The Eels minus $1.90. Eel, uh, sorry, Sea Eagles plus $1.90. $1. Key talking points here, all thanks to Palmer Bet. The Eels come back to earth with a tough loss against the Premiers, but it wasn't that. There was only eight points in it. Um, they come back at home where they've won eight of their past 10 games. For the Eagles, they're off to an absolute flying start. Wins over the Roosters and Bunnies. Uh, they are playing really, really well. And any time try scorer tip here, Manly winger Jackson Paulo has scored seven tries in his last six games against the Eels. That's a fair old stat, kids. Um, are you sticking with your Manly Sea Eagles here, mate? You've been all over in the first couple of weeks. Oh, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. They're not my Manly Sea Eagles, mate. You got to remember the rivalry the Newcastle Knights and the Manly Sea Eagles had, mate, during well, you the night. Soft spot for Manly, though. Nah, <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> Never, mate. Never from a Nova Castrian's mouth will there be a soft spot for the Manly Sea Eagles. <laughs> I respect their teammate and. <laughs> Yeah, the players they've got, they're definitely playing some some great footy. I remember talking about the the, the Eagles at the start of last year. Though they got off to a pretty good start, especially at Brookie. They have big crowds, yeah. and it fizzled out a bit during the year. Um, but I think they've got a good squad. I think Luke Brooks is really fitting in um, to the Manly Sea Eagles really well, really comfortably, and and no pressure. You know, Daly Cherry Evans can take the reins there. He's been there for a long time and experienced, and can guide the yeah. ship. And Luke Brooks can just fit in under the radar and play his part. And I think he's doing a good job. I always thought that he would play that role if uh, he was he could get out of the Tigers and go to a club where there was an established half. So 
Yep, good on him. He's happy. And I mean, I think the, the Eagles can get up for this one, have another win to make it three from three to start the year. So Eagles head to head. Um, yeah, they're outsiders, dollar ninety five. Just ne- nearly doubling your money here, you know, manly. Um mm. playing some super, super footy at the moment for mine. And uh you know, I reckon they'll get the job done again. Uh, I'm with you, kids. Right, eight, Knights <clears throat> v Storm. This is gonna be on like Donkey Kong Sunday, six fifteen, McDonald Jones Stadium. It'll be a sellout. Head to head Knights a dollar eighty eight, Storm a dollar ninety two at the line. Knights minus one and a half dollar ninety two, Storm plus one and a half dollar eighty eight. Uh, key talking points. All thanks to Palmer Bet for the Knights. Obviously had a tough loss last week. Golden Point they head home to their fortress, but they did lose at their fortress in round number one. They won eight of their last ten for the Storm. Huge win over the Warriors. That uh, try by Xavier Coates was huge. But Jerome Hughes out through suspension. That is massive. And Storm forecast, mm. forecast in the Hunter. The Storm have won 11 of their last 12 games against the Knights. Um, kids, that's not a real good record. And uh, nah. this is a massive, massive game for your football club this weekend, isn't it? Yep, it is, mate. I don't know if it'll be a sellout, mate. It's 6.15 on a Sunday night. I'm not sure that's the best time for yeah, our not, town not to play in, in the fence. No, nah, no, nah, nah, I don't. Like, mate, we can we can get a huge crowd. Newcastle can get a huge crowd on Thursday nights, you know, which yeah. bucks the trend for a lot of the other comp- rest of the competition. Yeah. Where I don't know, six six fifteen on a Sunday night. I think most families are looking to get their kids to bed at that stage and get them ready for Maybe schools. Right. But oh, they'll still, mate, they'll still turn out with uh, with plenty of support. There's no doubt about that. And I'm going to stick with my nights, mate, to turn it around. We don't want to be done from three just to kick the year off. So I think. Mate, the Knights, 1 to 12, 3 bucks. It's pretty pretty juicy for me. Yeah, pretty juicy. I'll nice. have a little dabble at that one. Yeah. Jerome yeah. Hughes out for the Melbourne Storm, too. I think he's a loss. I um, just, just I, looking I, to see near yeah, Jonah Pezzett and Tyra Wishart in the half. So, mate, mate, I'm actually I'm going with the Knights here, too, against the Storm, believe it or not. Uh, you've got to, I just reckon there's too much on the line. You know, you can't afford to go. Norton three kids. Um, it's it's a it's a huge game, and uh, you guys have got a lot more to play for. And I reckon the fact that you've lost your last or eleven out of the last twelve against a storm, if that's not enough to get you up and about to go, you know, we need to yep. we need to actually stand up against these boys and uh, and show them that we're up to it. So uh, we'll I'm make the other little change there, nice. two rounds in, and we just you know I did uh, criticise. South Sydney Bunnings for making a change in the halves. Well, Jackson Hastings has been dropped, mate, for Jack Cogger. So there is a replacement there. Jack Cogger played in the grand final off the bench for the Penrith Panthers last year and, yeah. and had a huge influence on um, changing the game at that stage when Jerome Luai went off. So interesting to see new halves dyna- dynamic at the Newcastle Knights, mate, for the Melbourne Storm this Sunday. Might be enough to spark them in and fire them up, kids. It's going to be a beauty. You'll be there, big fella. You'll take the girls along yeah. and... Uh, It'll be uh, rocking and rolling, mate. Uh, listen, let's go through the pick the round gids. What are we going with, mate? Who are we who are we siding with, big fella? And let's get your odds for Palmer bets, mate. Yep, mate. My pick the round for this week's week's weekend's game, mate. Panthers to win, Warriors, the Roosters, Titans, the Cowboys, Sharks, Eagles, and the Mighty Knights to wrap up the round, mate. Thirty-six bucks, mate. Just over thirty-six dollars mm. to pick the uh, pick the eight. That is good odds. Um, a lot of value. Um, not as much value as my pick eight, though, mate. Because I've gone the Broncos, which is going to put geez. a hell of a lot into it. I'm going for the upset. Yeah. There to defeat okay. the Panthers. Yeah, well, that was three eighty head to head. I think they were Warriors. Okay. Roosters, Far away. Titans, yep. Cowboys, Sharks, Manly Knights. And that is going to get ninety dollars ninety-seven cents. <laughs> Um, Holy! And remember, I only missed one last week. Good luck. So, good luck, uh, mate. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, all over it. What about the kids? Get on for the week, mate. This is what. Uh, mate, I'm going to go with a real straightforward two leg multi match of the round: Roosters versus the Rabbitohs. JWH's 300th game. We're going to go Roosters to win. JWH any time try score in his 300th game. I think he's he'll be fired up. He'll be looking. He'll be sniffing for a try. And I think the Roosters will try and do everything they can to get the big throw over the line. So pretty healthy odds, mate, for that one. Thirty-one bucks. Well, 30, 31 bucks. Two so, leg multi. Not bad. Roosters one to twelve. Uh, so tight affair and JWH any time try score. That's great. Love it. Yep. Absolutely love it. Right, eight thirty-one dollars and a little bit of sentiment. 
uh, value there for the big fella playing in yeah. game number 300. Well, I am going to go uh, just a little bit different. I, I, I kind of alluded to it before. So Sharks, I, I like what the Sharks are doing at the moment. And uh, and mm. I love what Nico Hines is doing too. I reckon he's uh, he's an absolute star of the game. He's a ripper. Um, so I've gone Sharks thirteen plus. Uh, Nico Hines anytime Ooh. try scorer. Katoa anytime try scorer. Short but sweet. Eight dollars seventy five. That'll do me, kids. Uh, and nice, uh, mate. Must we can get the job done. Let's get a couple up, mate. If it's not picked around, it's got to be the multi. Let's get it done this weekend. Mate, let's get it done. Download that Palmer Bed app. Get involved. Pick your mouldies out. Have a bit of fun. Chuck a few things around um, and gamble responsibly. That is the key message. And always think about what you're really gambling with. But it is a really, really easy app to get around. Is that Palmer Bet one? Uh, Gids, you have a wonderful week, mate. You're on uh, kid duties for the next 10 days, mate. Not that you can. Days. But, uh, might be a bit, I might look a bit different, mate, by next week's. Catch up. We'll wait and see. Disheveled. Anything could happen this week. You'll have the big beard. You'll be absolute mess just strolling down the stairs. Skirt uh, half off. <laughs> mate, oh. and fantastic. Just give uh, your lovely wife, Brooke, a plug again, mate. Over $350,000 oh, raised. If people want to donate, how do they do it, kids? Mate, go straight to the Mark Hughes Foundation website and keep up to date with all the Mark, Mark Hughes Foundation social media pages. So Facebook uh, and probably Instagram are the best ones. So they'll be keeping... The girls updated via via the uh, via the social media, so it'd be interesting to see their progress. But yeah, really proud of all of them. Big effort, uh, but they got it all ahead of them. Uh, fantastic, mate! Great performance, great performance by you once again, kids. Have a wonderful weekend, mate. And I look forward to catching up next week, buddy. Yeah, thanks, buddy. All the best, everyone. Have a good one. Hope you picked around. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.